Lightning is one of the most dangerous and unpredictable natural phenomena. Today's protection systems are still based on the lightning rod invented by Benjamin Franklin almost three centuries ago. But now a group of scientists is developing laser-based technology that could put an end to this threat. At 2,500 meters, Santis is the highest mountain of the Alpstein Massif in northeastern Switzerland. Its extreme weather conditions make it a very special spot for scientists studying lightning. Every year between 6,000 and 24,000 people are killed worldwide. Lightning also causes blackouts, damage to the electricity network and appliances, and forest fires that cost billions of euros. This tower is unique in Western Europe and potentially worldwide. It's regularly hit by lightning 100 times per year. What we do is measure the electric charge that's transferred from the clouds to Earth. It's like an electric shock hitting a person when he puts his finger in a socket. In this case, we measured this discharge and that allows us to find out how much of this energy is transferred from the clouds to the ground. Lightning is also a unique source of electromagnetic fields. There's nothing of its kind in nature or even man-made. It produces electromagnetic fields over the whole range of frequencies, starting from very low frequencies to radio frequencies, microwaves and even X-rays and gamma rays. Here what we are doing, we are measuring these electromagnetic fields and this helps us a lot in order to understand the physical mechanisms, but also it allows us to validate the theoretical models that we are developing in order to uh, simulate the effect of uh, lightning and protecting structures against lightning. Modeling all this data allows scientists to better understand how lightning forms so they can develop a protection system. Scientists working with the European Laser Lightning Rod Project are testing an instrument based on the use of upward lightning discharges directed through a powerful laser. The idea of wanting to control lightning with a laser is not new. It comes from the idea that thanks to the laser, you can direct energy from a great distance to create a distinctive path for lightning and make it a sort of guide by channeling the air with the help of very powerful laser impulses. The laboratory tests reproduce lightning on a scale of about one to two meters, but in the near future, the instrument will try to deal with real lightning from a few hundred meters to a kilometer long. We put a small lightning rod next to our laser through which we guide the lightning and all the electrical charges we get from the cloud, which protects the laser and also brings the current to the earth to protect everything around it. It's hoped this kind of laser-based system could one day be deployed to protect vulnerable installations, such as power plants, nuclear sites, airports and rocket launch pads, as well as large crowds gathering at sporting or other events.